What's up, everybody? OMB. OMB stands for Old Man Boxing. So just in case I start saying OMB a lot more, y'all know what it stands for. That's if you comb through the videos and look at them. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, look, I appreciate y'all subscribing to the channel, man. We're getting close to that thousand mark, man. Let's get there. Let's get there. Let's get it. Yeah, look, I'm always seeing something that look like something over here, y'all. So, you know, I mean, just got to look. But, yo, I want to say this. I appreciate y'all subscribing to the channel. Do subscribe. If you're not subscribed, and hit the bell icon so you can be notified for future videos. Hey, yo, I want to say this, man, so y'all can get a better idea. Before I get into my story, you know what I'm saying? I want to give y'all a better idea of who's talking and the person that, that you're listening to. Yeah, I do waste a lot. I just take a little bit in and just blow all the rest of that shit out. I do not inhale all that. I just don't. People say I be wasting them. Like, I get what I want out of it. I don't need all that in me. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, boom. I don't look at people as people. I look at y'all as spirits controlling a vehicle. Because this is a vehicle. And, it, yeah, it took me a long time to get to that realization because I always looked at myself as this flesh. You know what I'm saying? For a very long time. You know, and then it took me a good while, you know what I'm saying, before I got to the point to where I, yo, everything around me is built off of me, if you know what I mean. Us as people, your car is built off of how you work. Your computer is built off how you work. Everything is built off how this vehicle is. So when I see you, I be trying to see how your vehicle is working. You know what I'm saying? I mean, all the parts. The brain, you know what I'm saying? If it's a female, got to make sure all the parts working correctly. You know, got you, you, you got you to make sure ain't none of that blue smoke coming out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, like when you check out the motor in your car, got to make sure, she, you know what I'm saying? You, you got to make sure when you hit the gas, she go. I'm just saying, though, you know. So when I look at people, I don't look at y'all as people. I look at y'all as spirits inside of this vehicle, controlling that vehicle. And it's all up to you with via remote control, wherever we at, in spirit. Because as above, so below. So that's telling me I'm spirit here and spirit out there also. I hope I ain't losing some of y'all. I'm just saying, though, you know. So... When y'all go to talking sideways, I be I don't be looking at it like, oh, that's just him. I'm like, look at this. There's something wrong with that individual. There's something wrong with that vehicle. Yeah, I think they need to get get something checked out or something. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they need to go for a tune-up. <laughs> Whatever that may be, I don't care. Go do it. <clears throat> but anyway, I want to talk about this. Growing up. In the South Bronx, man, look, the Bronx was crazy, B. I mean, there was things going on. Like, when it came to money, there was no ends to what people would do. Certain people own stores. And they and they and they sold they dope. You know what I'm saying? They 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 was drug dealers, but the store was the front. Well, you had rival drug dealers. And if they ain't like what was going down, they own stores also. They ain't just come ruin your business. They bombed it, B. Yeah, you know how many times we walked outside and seen stores bomb them same stores right there on Cyprus? Bomb, be just wiped out, you know what I'm saying? Now, granted, it was concrete, so it's hard to knock out the concrete. But, yo, all the insides was just bombed, you know what I'm saying? And why y'all, look, a lot of that bomb squad stuff, man, that they got now, them robots, man, they started developing that stuff because of that stuff that was happening in America, you know what I'm saying? I mean... Bronx was one of them places where, yo, bombing was, like, prevalent. 
You know what I'm saying? So, you know, when 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 you grew up in our era in our era and you start hearing about people overseas bombing this and bombing that, they ain't nothing new to us. We done seen it. That's why I be like, when I be hearing about, you know, I guess people like back in the days when when this these people was trying to invade America, like I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all don't even know that. The Germans had submarines, which they call U-boats, right off the right off the coast of America, right over there by New York. You know what I'm saying? Looking at the Statue of Liberty, looking at New York and all of that, and they was bombing uh, bom bombing our stuff coming off of, uh, coming off of our docks, B. So, you know, you never know. Somebody might get balls enough to say we about to invade. I feel for you. <laughs> Yo, yeah, look, America, look, and look, I know, I know, I know, yeah, we ain't from America, we ain't Americans, whatever, yeah, 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 look, America ain't no joke, B, I'm gonna tell you right now, I done been around, and I'm gonna get back to the bombings, but I just wanna let folks know, yo, everybody got guns out here, you go out here in the country, B, I don't give a damn where you go, especially in the country, they, they hunt for a living, you know what I'm saying? I've been out there in the country in Georgia where dudes go hog hunting, man, and they like gung ho for that, man. You know what I'm saying? So, blowing your and you talking about coming over there and harming somebody's family from another country, man, you will get your brains blowed out so fast over here. I don't care where it is, from Florida to California, from Maine to dang on Mississippi, it don't matter that you gonna get your brains blowed out. Ain't nobody all this crap we've been through in this country. You think gonna let you come over here and do something? Okay, <laughs> keep thinking that. A lot of people think us Americans are soft, man. You know, especially us, uh, us, you know, uh, indigenous folks, the blacks and Latinos. They, they, they be thinking that, man. I'm like, you ain't been here in this country long enough. Stay here long enough, you'll find out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But anyway, back to the bombing. Yo, I remember so many times, man, and it's not just over there where we was, anywhere like Dominicans own spots, Jamaicans own spots, and it was just bombing, like, yo, I'm like, whoa, I couldn't tell you what it was all about, but all that stuff that went on overseas with bombing, and, and then, man, we went through that here in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, so... That's recent history that just didn't hit y'all newspapers. They weren't putting that stuff on the news, y'all. They would have scared all the tourists out of New York. It's all about money. But I can guarantee you, bombing was nothing new. They even got the 40th Precinct one time. I, at least I remember that. Because I remember seeing the side of the wall blew out of it. I was like, whoa. You know what I'm saying? So, yo, and that's the police station, y'all. For y'all who don't know what the precincts are. The 40th, the, the precincts, uh, there's like 300 of them. I forgot how many is in New York. I just a gajillion of them. You know what I'm saying? And, yo, if you ball, you ballsy enough to bomb one of them, that's telling you the seriousness of how it was back then, man. And I'm just talking about the Bronx. I don't know about anywhere else, but it was wild, man. Old Man Boxing, signing out. Peace.